I just love the flavor of tahini and all the wonderful health benefits it provides. So let's use it in a fun recipe today that's also keto friendly. So be sure to stay tuned. Welcome back my friends to The Organics Channel. My name is Katrina. I love being here with you every week. We create these delicious and healthy recipes together. Today we're going to be making a chocolate tahini collagens shake. Let's begin today by adding three to four large pitted dates to your blender. I'm going to be substituting with these little mini date coconut rolls. It's simply dates rolled in a little bit of coconut. And these are fairly soft, so they're going to blend up really well. If your dates are a little bit harder, I would just recommend soaking them in some warm water for a couple of minutes before adding them to your blender. Next, I have three quarter cup of light coconut milk or your favorite unsweetened milk. The coconut milk is going to add some healthy fats and lend to a creamier version of this recipe. But if you would prefer a lower calorie, lower fat version, then use the unsweetened milk. One tablespoon of tahini. So aside from its delicious nutty flavor, it may help with postmenopausal symptoms because of its estrogen building properties. One and a half tablespoons of cacao powder for some chocolatey goodness. One tablespoon of chia seeds, which are rich in soluble fiber, which may help with digestion. One tablespoon of our tasteless clean source collagens powder, which is third party tested for glyphosate, heavy metals, and pesticides. I love this stuff. One quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt for some essential trace minerals and about a sixteenth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper for just a little bit of heat. For fun, I have five coffee ice cubes, which is simply coffee that I brewed last night, poured into my ice cube tray and then stuck in the freezer. You certainly could use regular ice cubes here too. And this is about one half of a cup of coffee here that I'm using. Blend up all of your ingredients until smooth Add in more ice for a thicker consistency and more milk for a thinner shake. This chocolate shake is ready for a taste. Before I do, I wanted to let you know for all of my keto friends out there, you could definitely make this into a keto shake. The biggest thing of course is the dates. So replace the dates with your preferred low glycemic sweetener. You may also want to add in an additional tablespoon of tahini for flavor, and you'll want to use full fat coconut milk. You may also need to add in a few more ice cubes just for the consistency, but I bet it would be so good. So let's give her a taste, shall we? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That is such a flavorful treat. Drink it nice and slow. Let all of those healthy fats take your time to move into the body, to allow the brain to realize that you're good, that you're full once you're done drinking this. But this is, oh my gosh, this is a dessert in and of itself, but it's got so many wonderful ingredients in here. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, thanks for being a part of the Organics family. I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen for another healthy and delicious recipe. Take care, bye-bye.